Hey, Oliver fans. So today I'm going to tell you a story about something. Hey, Oliver. <laughs> I'm lying down on the grass here. About something that happened yesterday right here in our local park. So ever since we moved to the Bay Area. Yeah? You want to play? Oliver loves this park. Ever since we moved to the Bay Area last summer, Oliver has been completely obsessed with the stray cats that live in our neighborhood. Yeah, that's right. He's been really, really obsessed with them. Also, he <laughs> wants to play right now. Okay, Oliver, let's play. Let's play. Okay, so we're here in our local park. And yesterday we were here. Uh, so as I mentioned, Oliver is obsessed with these stray cats. There were not very many stray cats in Chicago where we lived before, if any at all. But here there are absolutely tons of them. So whenever we come across a stray cat, which is often at night when we're walking Oliver, he will pull on the leash and try to chase the cat. And that's made us wonder, that was a very gentle pirouette, Oliver. That's made us wonder, what would actually happen if Oliver actually caught one of these cats? And yesterday, we found out. So Oliver was here in the park, and I'm going to show you over here where it happened. So it was after lunch. Oliver, are you nervous about this spot? Well, he seems to be not so nervous. He's going to come over and look. So Oliver was off leash because this is a fenced-in park, our local park here and perfectly safe. And uh, he was exploring in this area here, which is sort of a marshy area, I guess you could say. Um, and uh, he was sniffing around for a while, and I think he must have been sniffing because he smelled a cat. I couldn't see the cat. I didn't know there was a cat here. And he was actually standing right where he's standing right now, so I guess he's not too worried about it, about what happened. And I was standing a little bit back. I wasn't recording, and if I had been recording, I, I would have turned it off. And as he was standing here, uh, roughly, uh, a cat suddenly jumped out from behind this bush here. And Oliver was over here, and then this cat basically attacked Oliver. Uh, it was really shocking, actually, because I, I just didn't know what to think. Um, this cat basically got up behind Oliver and clawed at Oliver's back, like this. So, uh, the encounter really didn't last that long. It lasted a few seconds. Uh, I didn't really have time to intervene. And uh, the worst part of it was, Oliver, I think, was very shocked as well. He didn't know what to do. Are you sort of looking to see whether the cat's still here, Oliver? Uh, this cat, by the way, was a, a juvenile cat, not very large, maybe one third Oliver's size. It was a gray cat. I don't know if it was Oh, we're walking away. <laughs> you don't want to be anywhere near this cat. Um, not anywhere near Oliver's size. So not really threatening this. It was a small cat, but it was clawing at Oliver. And Oliver uh, didn't know how to react. I don't think it was as much of a shock to him as it was to me. And um, he let out a very high pitch kind of uh, yelp, which was not a happy sound at all. It was not a happy sound. And in fact, uh, there were a couple of dogs across the street walking that uh, started yelping in, sort of in sympathy with Oliver because he was clearly in distress. And this uh, encounter only really lasted three or four seconds. The cat uh, sort of clawed at Oliver's back and then he ran back to where I was and the cat did not follow. So I think the cat felt... Oliver had been sniffing around the cat's home, I guess, and the cat felt that Oliver was, uh, had been dealt with. The threat had been driven off. So the cat did not follow and Oliver immediately wanted to leave, leave the park. So I leashed him up and we went off and we left the park. So that was Oliver's experience, uh, surprising experience in the park yesterday. It was so surprising for me as well. Oliver, I'm not sure what you learned from this experience. I'm glad that you don't seem to be too nervous about this park. I was worried that you would never want to come back here again. Instead, it seems like you're quite happily sniffing around. But I do think that Oliver learned a lesson yesterday, and the lesson that he learned is that cats have claws. Is that right, Oliver? So we might think twice about chasing cats in future. What do you, what do you say? We haven't encountered a cat since then. Uh, we didn't see any cats last night when we took him for his walk. So, Oliver, uh, yeah, every day you learn something new about this world, don't you? So, we have to be careful around cats. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you all are having a really wonderful weekend. The weather here in California is beautiful, and we are going to go off and have some more adventures. How's that, Oliver?
Want to go run on the grass a little bit? Did you smell the cat all over? <laughs> You're wrinkling your nose. <coughs> yeah. Hey, Oliver fans. So Oliver's made it clear that the reason why he's barking is because he wants this, which is the uh, wind guard from my phone. So I guess I'll give it to him to play with. Um, and there he runs away. So, uh, yeah. The one thing I wanted to add to what I've already said is uh, that... Of course, immediately after uh, the incident with the cat, I checked Oliver to make sure that he was not seriously injured in any way or even um, mildly injured, and I could not find any scratch marks on him and certainly no signs of blood. So it was a pretty innocent incident, and we will keep an eye on him, though, to make sure that he, uh, he's, he doesn't develop any signs of infection over the next couple of weeks. And I just wanted you to know that Oliver is indeed okay. And uh, the lesson he learned was not too harsh of a lesson. All right, Oliver, can I have my uh, wind guard back? What do you say? I think that was a no. Oliver, can I please have my wind guard back? Come on. Oliver, come on. Yes. Chase the crow, Oliver.